we have a treat for you right now. Anthony Bourdain, Bourdain, that is, has eaten his way all across the world, and he's taken us with him every step of the way. And he wants to take us along his latest adventure, where he tracks down masters of different crafts in every field. Take a look. So we're going to pull the dough towards the center, pinch, and seal. So you see how much the puff up? Yeah. You can see all the layers. You can see this beautiful, like, caramelized bottom. Yeah. Uh, I would like to eat uh, one of these. All this right. is our Belveni whiskey caramel hot chocolate. And before you have a sip, I'm gonna drop this little marshmallow here on top for you. Whoa, cool. Look at that. That. Somehow gorgeous. this man always manages to get fed. <laughs> Anthony Bourdain, thank you for joining us this morning. Is it as thank simple you. as that? I need to try it and they just feed you? Um, well, <laughs> yes, actually. It's, uh, I mean, this is a lot easier than uh, actually cooking myself. Yeah. But, uh, of course, this series highlights uh, craftsmen, craftspeople yeah. from across the full spectrum of, uh, of art and craft. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're always pushing it, and this season is going to be pretty interesting. All right, so it's called Raw Craft, right? Yes. And it's not just about food, correct? No, no, not at all. In fact, this, I think, was uh, our first foray into, uh, into food. We've done uh, make, knife makers, yeah. uh, people who make handmade motorcycles, tailors, people who work with their hands, making things the harder, longer, right. more old school, difficult way. There's a respect uh, much in Much of the time. Yeah. Well, they put some love into it, right? In your first episode, you kind of profiled Dominique Ansel, the yep. famous baker here in New York City yes. who, who made the cronut such a big mm -hmm. thing. So what are you guys talking about there? Well, yeah, I mean, this is a real innovator, uh, you know, straddling the line between art and craft. Yeah. I mean, he's come up with some incredibly creative, you know, he's trained in the classics, uh, of course, mm -hmm. but he's famous for his innovation, his artistry. Uh, you saw briefly this hot chocolate where the marshmallow opens up into a perfect flower, for Beautiful. instance. He Gorgeous. does a frozen s'more <gasps> that's... Unbelievable. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. How do they come up with these ideas? I've always been fascinated by that. Don't ask me. I would never <laughs> in a million years have come up with, with, with what he comes up with regularly. Listen, Which, you've eaten your yeah. way through every single borough, the five boroughs, exactly. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a favorite is number one. Right. And number two is, have you had chopped cheese in the Bronx? I have had chopped cheese in the Bronx. Yes, it's <laughs> awesome. Um, it's a guilty pleasure. Yes. Um, look, pound for pound, uh, per square block, Queens has probably got oh, the best food. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I'm a Manhattanite, and I spend most of my time here. I'm m much more familiar with it here. Mm -hmm. But but Queens is, to a great extent, an unexplored wonderland. Mm -hmm. Well, you've actually traveled to my birth country of Vietnam oh, and lovely. broken bread, if you will, with uh, former President Barack Obama. What was that like? Um, it was really cool. He was so gracious, uh, patient, uh, open to the... Uh, experience. I mean, we put him in a place. The, the Secret Service was not happy to be in this <laughs> tiny little family-run, not particularly clean noodle shop mm -hmm. with one exit uh, to the street. Um, but uh, you know, it's one of the joys of my life: drinking beer from the bottle with the yeah. uh, then President of the United States. Uh, something I could not have foreseen when I was back dunking French fries for a living. Right? Can hey. he handle Vietnamese food? I love it. Yeah. It's really one of my favorite countries to visit. We, we've been back and made television there many times, and mm -hmm. will again. Uh, so the big question is, where can people watch Raw Craft? Uh, well, it's up uh, up online. The exact web address, uh, somebody's gonna have to put up. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. On but the um, uh, available widely. Google uh, Raw Craft, and you'll take and you right to YouTube or to. And also, site. real quick, best thing about New Jersey is. Best thing about New Jersey, well, it's a uh, cultural wonderland. Uh, <laughs> the pork roll. Uh, the pork roll. He wanted the pork you to say roll. pork roll. <laughs> and I, I mean, I grew up there. It's, there you uh, go. One favorite food out of everything you've had. Oh, look, favorite look. If uh, I were, if I knew I was being killed tomorrow, I'd be eating sushi tonight. Sushi. Okay. All right, there you go. You heard it here first. All right, check out Anthony Bourdain on season three of Raw Crap. Head over to Pix11.com for the link where you can watch it all. And we'll be right, we'll be right back with the final.